Hey guys, how you doing? So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing this customized steering wheel from carboncitycustoms.com, which is basically an Australian company manufacturing in China. So uh, I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts on this product because since I ordered this very steering wheel, I haven't even seen any proper unboxing or review videos. So I'm, I'm gonna be the first one uh, and I'm gonna be 100% honest. So the first things first, uh, how long does it take to deliver this kind of steering wheel to your address and uh, how is the customization? So the customization is actually very simple. You just hop on their website and just select the, you know, all the options they offer is on their website. So basically the shape of the steering wheel, if you want to fly it around, you can actually uh, select the materials on the top, on the sides, on the bottom of the middle trim. And also you can customize the pedal shifters, which I have, but I'm gonna get to, to get to this later in the video. And uh, also you can put like those RA buttons on your steering wheel as I have, um, which are basically from an RA. Um, and uh, yeah, you can actually put like this, you know, Formula or Ferrari, type like you know led stress which shows you rpm and info and uh, information about your engine um so yeah so the so yeah the customization itself is very simple but the delivery itself is actually much more complicated because they state on their website it's gonna take multiple uh days or okay two or three weeks to deliver to your address and they offer like worldwide free shipping as me i'm currently located in czech republic in you in europe um but you know it actually doesn't take like this the like like this low of the time it actually takes like multiple months like multiple multiple months for them to deliver because for me especially it took you know 100 days for them to deliver and it's like totally different from what they what they what they state on their website because they say it, it takes like I don't know two or three weeks. For me, it took I don't know four months, something like that. So yeah, but if you're like the car guy and you and you're used to you know ordering you know the special turbos and exhausts, you know pipes, whatever to your car, you can actually get used to it because in, in this situation in a world in economics uh, where materials are very expensive or unavailable, you can accept the fact that it takes like very, very long time to order like new parts to your car. But, you know, it would have been much better if they just stated the truth on their website because I don't know if, if it's just me, but I've been always mess messaging them, where where is my steering wheel, how it's doing, where will it come? You know, it's been 40, 50, 60 days. At one point, I thought I was scammed or I was getting scammed. But after 110 days, something like this, they actually delivered to me. Um, the delivery was very quick into like, I don't know, one week um, to deliver to, to Europe from China. So uh, that was all right. The second thing, which is like big problem with this steering wheel is that not everything is customizable. So I wanted the steering wheel to be as much carbon fiber as possible or as black as possible. And I just couldn't customize this part. So I didn't see any option. They just put it in silver and send that to me like that. So this part isn't customizable. So keep in mind that you have to customize this part yourself um, or given like the note that you want it, you know, with this part being black. Also, I paid, so those two buttons um, actually cost $200, but you can actually pay $200 extra to put like two more buttons so you can actually customize the exhaust and uh, the race mode or the you know launch, launch control, whatever. They just put two of those buttons. So I paid $200 extra for them to put like two more customizable um, buttons. So for, for example, this is for uh, stop and uh, also for starters, drive select, etc., etc., and uh, they just didn't put it in here. So, yeah, this is another thing. And the third thing, uh, which you better keep in mind, is that the paddle shifters that they sent me didn't even fit. So, I had to replace like those, you know, original paddle shifters with the carbon fiber I ordered, but they just doesn't fit. If if I wanted to, you know, put it in here, uh, in there, uh, they just, you know, wouldn't click. So. It just completely different part from this, you know, steering wheel. It just doesn't work. So, like 10 or 15 percent of my order just doesn't work. So this is the first thing. The fourth problem is that you know they don't give you the instruction man manual to actually plug it in. So 
even though I put my car to my uh, you know tuning ser service or tuning garage whatever tuning store they had very very hard time to set up this because you know they just give you the you know the steering wheel like with this part apart and they just give you those you know little wires that you have to figure out like how to put it in or how to connect it into your car and uh, it isn't clear like what is what so you really have to be like a car nerd or someone that knows like what to do to actually set up in because you don't have you don't you know you don't get any instruction manual and i actually asked them to send me the instruction manual they told me like yeah we're gonna contact a manufacturer in china and uh, we'll get to get to get to you later but they haven't replied since so yeah it is what it is but hopefully it works um also the led stripes and actually you can you can uh customize the led stripes limit and brightness in settings actually very easy so the left stripes yeah they're okay but the problem with those ref stripes is that they actually occupy the obd um obd sensor here so if you have anything different in your car for example my um my exhaust what are valves valves whatever <laughs> i don't know what's the word for it um it just wouldn't work because obd can you know receive and send data to only one obd device so there is one option to you know um to buy like an adapter from one obd to two but you know the obd will power the both devices but not sending them data only one obd will be you know receiving and sending da data to and from your car so this is the thing to keep in mind if you want this led thing um working uh, you really need to not have anything different in your car that requires non-stop OBD. And also, if you if you like plug it off, it still you know constantly restarts and it gives you like this welcome dance whatever um, until it connects again. So even even if I want to you know disconnect the LED LED stripes and connect the valves or valves uh, from my exhaust. Um, it just keeps reconnecting and especially at night is very very annoying because you always get this little dance that it does on the start and it keeps restarting over and over so yeah this is it uh, so yeah other than that yeah the quality of the Alcantara is beautiful the quality of leather is also beautiful I'm pretty much satisfied with the steering wheel but you know keep in mind keep in mind that you know you have to do um, some research of what your car does and doesn't do um in order for everything to work so yeah this this was my this was my um review uh hope you enjoyed and uh see you in the next video bye bye